Ahead of the crowdfunding campaign, a company called MaxWasher kindly sent me a sample to review. So it's a quite a big box, it's about four kilograms. So basically what it is, is that this has this ultrasonic technology that could wash your dishes without the washing liquid or your detergent, whatever you want to call it. And it could also uh, clean your fruit, like your strawberries, apples. And all you need to do is basically fill in water on your sink and you place this on and the ultrasonic will do all your work. So this is a very interesting technology and we're moving forward people and I'm really excited about it. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Right. Ah, oh, cool. Look at that. So this is the top of the box. You can see some lovely sketch actually. It's fish and crab as well. Come on, that can't be true. So you can also wash grain, seafood and meat as well. Uh, Max Washer. Other side of it, we got some descriptions and the spec as well. So please do pause and have a look. Crab sponge cover. Ah, so. This is the main board. Yeah, the converter here, so that's very cool. All right, so this is basically for placing your uh, main board, I think, against the wall. So it's not too heavy, that's good. And the control panel with some buttons that we can place, press, and um, also uh, the power on off. And I think that's where you connect to the ultrasonic thing as well. So I presume this has to be on your wall. This is to do with mounting your main board basically. So you drill three holes. So maybe this could be the alternative for mounting it against the wall. Below we got the actual device here. This is the tray. Wow, this ultrasonic device is chunkier and it's the heaviest thing that you can hold out of the whole thing. And this is technically supposed to be waterproof because you actually put this inside the water and then it will do the magic. So the reason we got a very simple tiny manual here is that because it's so easy to use, all you need to do is power plug on one end and this device to the other end, switch it on, and then you just need to press the button and you need to press the related subject that you need to, you want to wash and now this is the tray early on that i would wasn't able to figure out my lovely wife actually cooked me a, a seafood spaghetti today she also had the um, strawberry this is a strawberry mark for her breakfast spaghetti marks on dishes and also my uh, daughter had her uh, regular sort of our own recipe um, dinner so this should hopefully come out quite easily and lastly, we're gonna actually try out the, the main uh, pot as well. So this actually has, still has the seafood spaghetti, yummy. Right, so you gotta fill up the water uh, above the body temperature that is, that's been recommended. You gotta turn it on, press it for a few seconds. Then you'll see the E7 marks. You, see, you hear the beep sound and it's on. So what you need to do is press the uh, cutlery sign here. So let's get into it by submerging this. It says 12, so I presume it's gonna play for 12, 12 minutes. Look at that. I fear that if I'm gonna touch this, I'm gonna get electrocuted. Oh no, that's fine. Can you hear that sound of like ultras? Okay. I have to say the hot water has actually contributed for getting rid of all the um, the dirt. Okay, so I can see a bit of a stain mark here. So I don't know whether that's gonna come out, but let's actually dangle it inside. By the way, you can actually put in some uh, washing up liquid as well. That's according to the instructions. Okay, no um, BS, but that stain mark early on disappeared. No, that is interesting. You can see that the water is starting to get discolored. <laughs> no, that's amazing. I should have really filmed this one. This, the condition of this was horrendous early on, but it actually all came out. That's really interesting. Okay, so let's show you exactly. I'm zooming it right into the camera. 
and it's all cleared out. Okay, so we got some rather yellowy stain marks here. Let's try to put it here to see if it actually does clean it. And we got some spaghetti marks here as well. So let's try to put this as well. You don't feel like you're getting electrocuted, but you can feel this several breeze of water coming from this part. No way. <laughs> That's amazing. So early on, you saw some stain marks on it. It's now all gone. You can actually contribute some of it by rinsing it with your own hands as well. But it's amazing because we all know that these sort of spaghetti marks are really annoying um, and to actually take you know take it apart and yet it's just effortlessly just comes out this will technically clean up all the bits that you cannot reach so this is the pot that we uh, had the spaghetti early on but we still have these grease and sauce on it so let's see how well it works on this one as well the pot is inside and you can still see all these uh, spaghetti sauce and grease stuck onto it you can see that um, this is quite kind of heavy by the way but wow okay no that is amazing right so this salt pot came out <laughs> look at that unbelievable i th i think you guys are starting to think that i'm doing a video editing here but i'm not i'm literally just dangling it and moving it about we all dishwashers know that how difficult it is to get rid of these and it just effortlessly all came out and the clear sign of this is indeed that we got the rather discolored water right after the greasy wash i actually filled in the sink with cold water and i'm actually turning on with the um fruit or vegetable wash settings and what's quite interesting about this whole thing is that you can see all these uh, these are not dirt by the way these are air bubbles okay so it's clearly doing some of the rinse here and um, yeah actually I do feel more secure that this whole thing is cleaning up the whole sink as well wherever the water is actually touching all right so I'm gonna try out the rather delicious donut peach with this device to see how tasty it will become okay so this is how it looks please do remember it's actually pushing it away but i'm shoving it back again oh look at that i can see something actually floating around it that's a really promising sign this is not dirt this is all those ultra wave effect that is causing all these air bubbles to come out okay so this is how the donut peach look like nothing really different particularly mmm very delicious all right so while I was trying to clean up the donut peaches I actually left this pan next to the sink and um, it's dried a bit but I have done, literally done nothing to it and you can see how clean it is I didn't even rinse it against the water um, I know there are some few marks that is questionable, but then again, I just want to show you the overall um, impression so far. That's really, really impressive. So I guess you can actually rinse it, another rinse, and maybe probably try a bit of a lot of washing liquid if you want to for certain areas. But that, I have to say, is really, really good. So my daughter has been going through a teething session at the moment and she has been biting this poor doll and it's all turned yellowy and so on. So I just want to see whether this machine will be able to clean up this doll uh, without the washing up liquid but only with hot water. So let's find out. Okay, moment of truth. Here it goes. Soaking wet. This is for 12 minutes so... I'm going to obviously shorten the video, but um, hmm, not 100% sure. Um, we still got seven minutes left, but I could see the water is a bit turning yellowy. Okay, so we got two minutes now uh, remaining, 
and I can already see uh, that it's not 100% clean but it's actually a really good improvement there compared to how it started that's really good so 12 minutes have passed let's just get some of the waters out and you'll see that this is quite impressive it was extremely yellow and it's almost cleared out and I have to say it's a worth 12 minutes spend for this experiment purpose and this is without the washing liquid anything applied and result you got this rather foggy dirty water floating about which it needs to be drained but I have to say that's a really impressive result don't you think I mean obviously we got still yellowy but if we try another 12 session with a washing a liquid that will be really good clean and this is just by using pure water so with complete honestly before i actually carried out the dishwashing process of the review um i wasn't really convinced at all how such thing would actually work but after i had cleansed the uh the pot which actually contained a lot of grease and tomato sauce on it and then showed the result to my wife i could actually tell by her reaction she was convinced and probably this is the only device that i uh, managed to obtain that that seems to have convinced her rest of the gadgets if i buy some expensive gadgets she'll be like oh no, why did you get that and so on but it's one of those things we have to learn how to use this device like when you get a new gadget that is not really well educated to the public and you're the early receiver of this um, you need to learn and then advice to others and i believe that's my responsibility on this subject and is that for this you, be, you have to be able to fill in your sink about 60 to 70 percent with water and then um, what do you do with the two to three percent left over on the dishes because it doesn't 100 percent completely clean it with honestly do you actually rinse it with water but then again you're actually consuming another uh, size of water on that one as well uh, so but then again if you actually come across with a like, greasy pot it will actually effortlessly um, clean up all those grease so that really really helps because that's those are one of those elements that really irritates you when you do your dishwashing and so on but yeah really looking forward to blend in with this new technology and it's a fascinating one indeed anyhow i hope this video helped you understand what this product is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lzp tech all the best bye bye